thank you all. Uh, uh, thank you, Dr. J. Prakash Narayan, sir, for uh, taking time out. I know he's busy, uh, so we, we try to keep on time. Um, and Dr. Sudhakar Rao, sir, he is a true believer of teamwork. Uh, he believed in us. Uh, so uh, I think his thought was always to help doctor community. Uh, I think I'll take five, 10 minutes to briefly talk about what Idea Clinics is all about. Um, so. So IDEA Clinics, the acronym stands for Institute for Diabetes, Endocrinology, and Adiposity. Uh, we started a few years ago. We believed in true teamwork. See, uh, if you look at uh, the present day, uh, most doctors work in hospitals and evenings they run their small clinics. Uh, I think things are changing. The world is changing. We are becoming uh, a global power. So. As doctor community, what should we be doing? So there are three topics I'm covering in the last next five, 10 minutes. Um, so uh, what is Idea Clinics? Why we should have Idea Clinics? And how we are trying to execute Idea Clinics? That's the big picture we are trying to execute. Uh, uh, what is Idea Clinics? So the because by profession, we happen to be endocrinologists. Almost 80% of healthcare needs can be addressed in the we, we cover the preventive healthcare uh, uh, concept, and uh, we believe in healthcare should be outside hospitals, the way Dr. Murli was talking about. And we believe it's time uh, hospitals are replaced by technology. Hospitals by rule are real estates. You don't need such huge hospitals. Hospitals should be limited for emergencies and major surgeries. Rest of the care should happen uh, in the community, if possible, at home. Why we should have idea clinics? So uh, we know as Indians, our life expectancy is improving. However, we are all dying a decade early than a uh, uh, European or an American. So our life expectancy, we are dying prematurely. In, our, in some families, some of us are dying in our 40s, 50s, 60s. We are unnecessarily getting uh, you know, we are ending up with diseases, getting admitted, uh, hospitalizations. And uh, the third thing is healthcare in India is extremely fragmented. What happens in Chennai, Mumbai doesn't know, what happens in Kolkata, Bank, we behave as if we are 10 different countries. Even at individual level, uh, patient has to see Humpteen doctors, diagnostic somewhere, pharmacy, there is no uh, integration of health. And finally, India is full of data. Now data is the gold, new gold. So there is no effort at all at doctor community to you know, pull up data and do India-centric research. Because even today, Americans are telling what breakfast we should have, how many idlis we should consume. That's how unfortunate we have brought ourselves to. They are giving guidelines for us to follow. So in that context, we build this sort of preventive healthcare healthcare outside hospitals, integrating uh, and sort of uh, uh, the holistic. Uh, so healthcare can be compared to an elephant, you know, uh, uh, like, you know, uh, it's, uh, uh, there are different stakeholders. There are a lot of uh, business community getting into healthcare industry. There are diagnostic chains, pharma chains. But as doctors, we should be looking after the healthcare. Because as doctors, we look at professional aspect. We, we are into interested in research and academics and skill development and all that. So hospital care is like a white elephant. It's expensive, it's inconvenient. Patients will lose freedom, uh, you know, and half of our population cannot afford private health care. And middle class Indians, they stopped going to government sector. That's the reality of today. So we need to try and see whether we can deliver healthcare as much as possible outside the hospital setting. Uh, hospital should be limited for emergencies and major surgeries. Uh, that's the reality, how we are trying to execute idea clinics. So what we are doing is 
some of the top doctors across the country. Uh, we are getting together from different cities. We have Dr. Suresh Damodaran from Tamil Nadu. There are few others. We all are working together to build an integrated, our own Mayo Clinic, Oxford, you know, Harvard equivalent sort of healthcare. So that's the, and the uniting factor for us is technology. We are building our own softwares, our own electronic health records. So we built our own integrated technologies. We have more than a lakh data now. Uh, we are collaborating with ISB, IIT, uh, all that various public organizations. We are doing data analytics. So lot of futuristic preventive, see not all diabetics will develop complications. We are doing some algorithmic, uh, uh, you know, technology driven, uh, some sort of tools to pick up. So to pick up, uh, uh, so this is all the research. So the way we are working towards it is in threefold. We are aligning all the partner doctors from different cities in India. And then we are building the way Murli was talking about. We are getting into the community. The junior doctors will be our foot soldiers to get into people's houses using technology. And the third component is where the future is, remote care. We can penetrate into our villages, towns by providing uh, health kiosk. That's because most of the super specialists, we, we don't uh, leave cities for whatever convenience it gives us. So if you look at economics, the green circles are the rich countries. The Americans, by do dollarization of the world, they made wealth. Europeans, by colonization, they made wealth. Uh, and uh, Middle East, they sell oil. The China cleverly exported their goods, uh, technology, did, and they make, became rich. India, um, we are not good at manufacturing. What we could do is doctors, right now we are serving our own population. If you look at the Western world, um, the biggest community of doctors in Western world are Indians. Half of UK NHS is looked after by Indian doctors. The richest community in US are Indians. Every in US are Indian doctors. One in seven patients in US are served by. So the Western world has no choice. Either they have to immigrate all of us to their countries to serve their health care, which is almost collapsing, or outsource to us. They're outsourcing the IT industry, pharma, and all that stuff. A day might, because a consultation in the West, if you example, here we charge $10, which is 700 rupees which is expensive for most of our population. Whereas in US or UK, uh, leave alone the cost, it's 100 to $200 uh, minimum consultation fee, and uh, they have to wait for 100 days to see a specialist doctor. That is the demand supply uh, uh, problem they have in the West. So the, the way technology is changing, uh, a day may come when the West has no choice than to outsource their healthcare needs to India. So uh, that's the potential Indian healthcare can take care in providing global health. So I'll stop here. Um, I would request uh, we are all eagerly waiting for Dr. Jay Prakash sir to give his talk. Uh, he is a man visionary. Most middle class Indians, we connect to him. Uh, so uh, we would all want to see what he has to offer in terms of being a doctor, what can, um, uh, India has to do in building futuristic healthcare. Thank you. So I'll stop here. Um, I would request uh, we are all eagerly waiting for Dr. Jay Prakash sir to give his talk. Uh, he is a man visionary. Most middle class Indians, we connect to him. Uh, so. Uh, we would all want to see what he has to offer in terms of being a doctor, what can um, uh, India has to do in building futuristic healthcare. Thank you.